So now let us look at some examples. Okay, so this is the first example. And you can see that there are four strain gauge sensors configured in a full bridge circuit, right? And this is the excitation voltage and this is your output voltage, okay? So the question asks to derive the voltage output equation V out and assume that the default resistance is R and the change can be denoted as delta R. And then you are asked to calculate what is V out if you are given R equivalent to 350 ohm and delta R is 0 0.07 ohm. The voltage is given as 5 volt. So what is V out? Okay, so that's the next part of the question. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is these arrows here are indicating whether the sensor is in tension or compression. So this one is in tension. So plus this guy is in compression minus Again, this one is in compression, okay, so delta R and this arrow is tension, so plus delta R. So, look at the direction of the arrows, eh? okay. So, next, take note on the polarity of your V out, okay. So, the plus is on your left-hand side. So, the arrangement of the equation should be this way, right. So, so this configuration should be the first term and the bottom one is the minus so r minus delta r and then the addition of these two resistance so r minus delta r plus r plus delta r and then minus the bottom one is r plus delta r and then the addition of these two r plus delta r plus r minus delta r multiply with your vi okay and then you can simplify bring vi over so you are left with r minus delta r and the bottom one Delta R will be cancelled out. You are left with R plus R, which is 2R. And then this side, the bottom part is also left with 2R. Okay. Finally, you are left with this equation and you can cancel the 2. And so the answer V out is equivalent to minus delta R over R multiplied with V I. So that's the answer. Eh? Don't worry about the minus sign because voltage can be negative or positive. Okay. So the second part of the question is asking about the value of the V out if you are given the values of the other parameters. So you just need to put the values in your equation and you will get minus 0 0.001 volt. Okay. So that's how you can solve an example of a strain gauge in a circuit configuration. So next let's look at the second example. So this time you are given the information about the strain gauge. It has a gauge factor of 1.8 and it's unstressed resistance. It means that the default resistance is 250 ohm. So what would be the percentage strain required to increase the resistance to 280 ohm? So you are given the value of R after you put pressure on it. So it increases to 280, which means what is delta R? So delta R is 30 ohm, right? Okay. So you have to look back at the formulas. This uh, epsilon is the strain unit deformation, which means that you need to find what is the value of epsilon and then change it into percentage. So what is the percentage of strain? Okay, so using this formula or this formula it doesn't matter because you are going to find what is epsilon. Okay, so this is what you need to do. So epsilon is equivalent to delta R over R0 divided by the gauge factor. Okay, and delta R is 30 over 250 multiply with 1 over 1.8 and you get 0 0.067. Okay, however, this is not the answer because you need to find the answer in percentage, right? So you need to change the percentage by multiplying with 100% and you will get 6.7%. So that is the answer for this question. Okay, so that is the first part of the sensor video. So the next video, I'm going to present some examples on thermocouple and perhaps some other sensors as well. Okay, take care. Bye. Assalamualaikum.